The Detroit Lions take on the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are seven and a half point favorite. Neither one of these teams I am that confident in, um, mainly because I've, I've talked about my distrust with Kirk Cousins here. Detroit is just bad. It is, I mean, the Jared Goff interception yesterday where the center, uh, you know, bad snap, Goff fumbles it in his hands and it lands in a defensive lineman's arms. One of the worst things I've ever seen. Um, It's the first team in the last 40 years to reach the end zone in each of the first three possessions and fail to score any points. Um, (laughs) That's just incredible. Four red zone drives where they come up completely empty uh, yesterday against Chicago. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's going to get any easier because uh, they got the Vikings, got the Bengals coming up. It, it just looks like a real, real struggle here for the Lions. And they got injuries with Ragnow and Akwara, excuse me. So I think this game is, is set up perfectly here for Minnesota. Even though uh, Dalvin Cook looks like he injured his ankle, let's hope he's okay. Um, looks like they'll give Alexander Madison a chance to, to, to run here. Um, the run defense is a problem here up for Minnesota. I don't think that's going to cost them here in this game. Vikings are at home. It's seven and a half. Am, am I really trusting the Lions to come come through and cover the spread here? Um, you know, yesterday yesterday was a bad performance against the Browns. I mean, that was, that was a surprisingly low scoring game. I thought we were going to see more fireworks than that, but just nothing working for either one of those teams. I just think Minnesota's offense is going to have control of this game. I think Detroit. It, it, it's just looking really really bad for them right now. It's a real struggle for them. I think in this game Minnesota really takes advantage. I think Minnesota wins easily. Give me the Vikings minus seven and a half.